everybody, Sherry here. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you an art project plus what I bought in 2023 from Timu for art supplies. Now don't judge me. I'm trying to learn art here. You know how expensive art supplies are and how expensive it would be to go to art school. So I wanted to get some basic supplies and I have done some art before like I used to um, draw and paint um, people's pets and do wood projects and paint the faces on them and stuff. So I have done some, but I want to expand what I know by following some YouTubers and things like that. So this is what I bought in 2023 for the entire year from Timu. So if you're into seeing a huge art haul and uh, info on what I would and would not buy again, as well as this awesome... Uh, pencil case I made, which has got some really cool features in it. Stay tuned, you're going to enjoy this video. All right, so I'm only a few of these I haven't opened yet, and I got a few in um, the other day. And I thought, you know, I'm just going to do a whole year video to go with my new pencil case. So the first thing I want to start with is called uh, Red Box Paint. It's five ninety seven. It my case came dented with Timu. Most of your stuff's going to come dented. I mean, it's handled very roughly. It's sold as a watercolor. It's quite pastel looking. But I would not buy this again. And, um, like I said, I paid $5.97 for it. And the reason I would not is very chalky. If you were doing just, like, for, um, you know, like a sketchbook or something, which is what I will use this in, but it doesn't feel like watercolor. It's very chalky. I'm guessing it's mostly chalk based. So this one, I would not buy again. And I'm just going to be honest. You know, I, Timu's not paying me anything. So <laughs> giving them an honest review. I will use it. I may try to straighten that tin out like the tin, but I wouldn't use it. I wouldn't buy it again. Okay, this is Meaden makes these ceramic um, palettes absolutely love this. I would buy this again. It came packaged really well. It was not broken as you can see and I do use it and it was I bought this one for $7.58 but they're usually between $8 and $10. I absolutely would buy that again. Love it, love it, love it. All right I bought this for $2.98 I think. It may be a little high priced um, but it comes not with the paint. You put your own paint in there, but I actually really like it. I like doing small small sketches. I probably would buy this again. Um, I love it. The wells are deep in it, and you can... Um, no, let's see. This one you can't take it out. Some of them you can. I don't, I don't think I tried. Well, it doesn't seem to want to come out, which is probably good because it won't fall out. I like that. $2.98. Um, it's a little small. You can see how small it is. But, you know, it's a palette. It's a palette. You can mix in here. You can clip it onto a little sketchbook. I would buy that again. Okay. I have two things here. One of the mediums I really love is oil pastels. These, they feel so cheap. Like when I first got them, I was very disappointed. But they actually work. You put your oil pastel in here. You pull this down on it. And then you can color and you don't get your hands... You can, all kinds of things, and you don't get it as dirty. And then this actually, I haven't tried it because I wouldn't do it to my oil pastel. And it sharpens it, but I'm not going to waste my oil pastel like I'm stingy. <laughs> like I, well, I'm sure it probably works, but I wouldn't uh, do that. It was, I got a five-piece set here for $1.78. Would I buy it again? Maybe. I don't use it that much, so I'm probably not. It does work, but I probably wouldn't buy it again. Okay, I have two of these, and you get, I got two for $1.43, and I would buy this again. I haven't even used it yet, but I'm going to use it when I go out on the hillside. Um, I'm going to try to do more this coming spring, and on fall in these nice days, winter days. But yeah, I would buy this again. It's a nice heavy silicone. They break down easy. We'd go in a backpack, um, $1.43 for two, absolutely. It's got where you can clean your brushes. It's plenty deep. You know, it's plenty deep. So, yeah, I would buy that again. I like that. Okay, now, Academy Watercolor Paper. I paid $3.21 for this one. It's 300 
GSM or GMs. So very thick. I love the 300 weight because I do on these. I don't, I not only do watercolor, but I like to do acrylics on these. This is kind of like a cardboard. And then I loved it so much. They had a coupon for me. I ended up getting five for $2 and five cents each. So I love them so much. I bought me a stack and I prefer the smaller sizes because I can do a painting quickly. I'm not overwhelmed with it. I, I Sometimes my attention span isn't the longest, so I can finish something and not have to feel like I have to come back and finish it up. So there's that. And here we have two. I'll set this one aside. I'm making sure I'm in my screenshot. I didn't even check. Oh my gosh. So here, uh, I got this for 93 cents. I've seen it for $2, but I would get this again. It's very heavy duty. You can hang it up. I've got a board, pegboard in my art room and I can just hang it up, but it's big enough. Literally, I could use it for anything. Like I could use it out at the grill. You could put your stuff here and <laughs> use on the grill. You could use it in real paint, like with real paint. I absolutely would get this again. I got this one for 93 cents. I would absolutely buy that again. Okay, here we have a set of knives. And I got them cheap, mind you. I found another cheap, cheap sale, 64 cents. Can you believe that? But I found out that when you try to paint with this, you want something that flexes really well. And this does not. They are stiff. So if I saw them for 63 cents or 64 cents or whatever, I would grab them again. There was seven pieces and I've only managed to grab five of them here. So imagine seven of these. And, but I might not use them for painting. I might use them for other uses, you know, other utilitarian uses like smearing sheetrock mud or something. Like I might use them for something else. But I would buy them again at that price, but I wouldn't buy them expecting to do art with them. Okay. I bought, was trying to do, um, I think her, her channel is Jane... I forgot how to pronounce the last name. Anyway, she does the the background's like all red, and she uses a big brush, a foam brush. So I bought these, and they are um, it was a dollar seventy eight for the foam set, and then it was a dollar twenty one for the rollers. And honestly, I wouldn't buy them again. They're too cheap. They are too cheap. I don't know what the handle's made out of, but they're very very cheap. I think I'd go for a better quality in a hardware store and pay a little bit more. This one did work. You can see I used it on the red. Um, but the handle's very thin and flimsy. Maybe if you need a one-time application of glue, um, you know, or something like that, I would maybe then do it. But I, I would not buy this again. I don't care how cheap they are. They just, they're not going to last like a... I've had the foam brushes from Walmart, and they last a long time. They're denser. This is so thin. Like, this is going to fall apart when you get paint in it. I would not buy that again. Do not recommend. Okay. And you've seen these a lot. I use, I pay it only $2.58, but usually they're about $7 or $8. I saw this go really, really cheap. Remember, Timu will ship, like, if you get $10 worth of stuff. So if I see stuff that they're like, hey, you want to give it to me? Okay, I'll take it. So I love this thing. You have to make sure there's a lot of people and one lady, she even threw hers away, poor thing. Because if you put this on with it like this, it'll leak all your water out because it'll just keep leaking, leaking. You have to make sure that the tall end is facing this way when you put it on and it'll work. The only trouble I have with it is this will stick. So if I go to use it, if I haven't used it for a while, this sometimes will stick around here and I have to push it down as I push this. And it won't just... It slowly leaks. So whatever water you have in here, if you're just using it in painting, you won't notice it. But if you let it set overnight, you'll find your water gone in the morning. <laughs> so, but I love this. I would definitely buy this again. I use it mostly for watercolor and gouache. I don't um, use it for acrylic painting and I or any kind of a really thick paint. I don't use it. And what I have that goes with it, and it's starting to dry out, is one of these sponges to save, you know, so you don't just use a ton of uh, paper towel. I got this one for 76 cents, but usually they're $2. And where I keep it, to keep it from drying out, <laughs> what I'm not using, is it fits in here perfect. And I just keep it in there. It works perfect. Love that, would buy both of those again. Okay, I got some of this magnetic strip to put on the bottom of my little, um, I had a, a hand, I made my own little, like you carry it with one hand, you do watercolor on it. 
and I had my own little blocks, you know, but this is to go on the bottom of half pans and pans for watercolor, but it's just not strong enough. Um, I paid a dollar fifty-eight for it. I don't doesn't really have a name on it, so I can tell you. I I will use it, but what I'm doing is I'm adding extra glue to it. So I might for a dollar fifty-eight. I probably would buy it again and just use the ex extra glue on it because it does work. Okay, this I absolutely love, love. This is I got for three ninety nine a spray bottle, and I love it. For, I do a lot of acrylic painting, and so this helps. My palette also watercolors, like if I, if I want to freshen this up, I can, it's such a fine mist. You can just real quickly hit it. Very fine mist, a very nice bottle. I would definitely, um, $3.99, definitely buy this again. Okay, now <laughs> I got this little color wheel. I got it more, more just to be cute, to put on a bag so when I go out and uh, paint my little art bags, but it actually works. I would buy this again. Um, I got mine for $2.48, but, you know, prices change, and sometimes I will do 90% off, try to tempt you in and put something way down. So it's a time to, to be like, hey, you're going to give that to me? Yeah, I'll take that. $2.48. That's what I pay for it. It's heavy. It's a nice weight. I love the feel of it. I would buy that again. I love it. Okay. I bought Maria. I guess that's how you say her name. Maria. Marie. Marie Masters probably for $4.94. These are pastels. I love the packaging. I love the earth tone packaging. Can I even get it open? Oh my gosh. And I probably would buy this again, but the sticks are kind of small. Like the sticks are kind of small in it. I broke that one. I, that's not on them. But um, I probably would buy this again because I use this a lot in doing layering. Like, and you know, um, it's, it's a good quality. I, I really like it, and I probably would buy this, this again. And Marie Masters makes a lot of uh, nice art supplies. So I probably would buy this again. It's $4.94. Alright, this is a pencil case. Um, I got mine for $2.78, usually around $5. I love this pencil case. Um, it goes great in, in my backpacks. And there's plenty of storage room here. It's made very nice. Sometimes they'll just have one color like they have too much of and you can get it half the price of the others, which is what this was. It's like, okay, I'll just take whatever. I'm not particular, you know, not particular. And I got another pencil case here, which is really nice. I got this one really cheap, $1.77. It's, it's a lovely pencil case. It's got room in here and then um, here. You know, you could put a gob of markers in there and then one more on this side. Haven't used this one uh, yet much, but um, absolutely lo a lovely. I mean, you could put erasers in there. Lots of little storage here. I would buy definitely buy that again for $1.77. The cute little thing on the zipper. Zippers here. Lovely. Okay, this is my go-to size sketchbook. This is the second one I bought. And I, I love the size because I can chuck it in something and and um, the paintings aren't too big. Like you don't have a lot you have to work with here. I'll go ahead and open it up rather than show you my used one. But it's not overwhelming. The pa papers are nice and thick. I think it may be a wood pulp. But for doing little gouache or quick acrylics on them, um, I absolutely love this. Absolutely love this, and I believe uh, you can find these on there for six uh, six forty eight. And um, I love it. They're so thick you can do both sides, so you, you it doesn't you know bleed through easy, and you can just do both sides. And it fits in 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 a bag easy. Also, you can clip you know easily go out and have a very quick session. Just a couple little things. So I absolutely would buy this again because I did. This is my second one. And highly recommend that one for $6.48. And they're usually between six and seven on there. Okay, let's see. Where's the other half of that? I have I have everything. Oh, I bought this. I love this pin here. I started with the lighter ones and I decided I want a real one. A really nice one. The weight on this one is really good. And I I, I love it. It's a very nice fountain pen, and um, 
um, $2.98. You can't go wrong there. And I started with these. This one came with a set of inks, if I can find it. I do have problems with these leaking, but partly is I don't know how to use fountain pens, so I'm learning. This one came for $2.24. You got all the different colors. And I have green in it, and it actually worked better than some of my other ones. So I, that's what got me hooked, is I think, I, if I remember, I started with this one first, and then I went on to some other versions of it. This I have not used yet. I really like how it looks, and I've seen it uh, for $13, and so that's why I grabbed it at $5.56 or whatever. It's a 10-piece um, watercolor brush set. Look how nice. I think I used this one. The, the, there's a lot. There's 10 pieces in here. So I got this pretty recently, but it's got some nice liner brushes. I love the feel. I can tell it's going to be a good brush. And for doing a wash. So I really like this. And it even has like little holes here so you can actually stand your brush up that you're using. Elms protect these little little case. Like I said, I've seen this for up to upwards of $15 or more. Probably on Amazon it'd be closer to $20, which is why I jumped on it when I saw it, them, them trying to bait me with it for $5. I'm like, yeah. And the thing is, I want everybody to understand is that many of us live very frugally, okay? I, I don't have all kinds of money, and if I want to learn art and do art, this is kind of my only way, okay? They're just... Art supplies are expensive. Okay, so here, here is a little tin I got for $1.29. And really, I could have, if I had a Sucrets tin or something, I could have just used that. But it is beautiful. I love the tin. And inside, I put all my, um, I bought it just for this purpose, to hold all my little uh, black ink fountain pen cartridges, which I got 50 for $2.88. They're not even all in here. They wouldn't all fit. But it holds them perfectly. Look at that. And so I like to be organized, and so this was great. I would buy these again, absolutely. All right, another thing that I really love to work with, I love oil pastels, which I mentioned before, but I got 10 of these, I think, I don't know if they sell them for makeup or in the art section, but it's 10 for $1.93. Uh, and they fit on your finger, and you can, uh, you can rub you know, your oil pastels, but they don't work that good on oil pastels. So I think what I'll probably use them for is just blending. Like when I'm out um, and I use like the the um, past regular pastels, you know, that would work great for blending that out. And I have another one here I bought for the same purpose, which is this one. And it was uh, 22 of these heads for $2.48. And you put these heads on there and it works really well. You put one of these heads on here and you can blend. Like, you can blend really well with them. So, so the, um, you, know, you know, these kind of pastels, it, they, it blends so nice. And so that's what I got those for. I would buy them again. These work, these work really well with the oil pastels. And I definitely would buy these again. I got 30 for $1.37. And I bought two bags of these. They're actually, like, you know, for makeup. But they actually work really well. They last longer than a Q-tip. And I would, I prefer these over Q-tip on, on your oil pastels. Okay, let's see here. This is something that I probably would not buy again. I haven't figured out how to use the paper. It's a brown paper. I was testing some, some things out on it, like paints, just scribbling some stuff on there and goofing around. And it just... I don't know, it reminds me of the packaging material, like your brown waxy paper. I'm not sure what to make of it. It is three, um, $3.98 for it. It's pretty, but I don't know. I don't know if I'd buy that again. It's just not really the paper I like. Okay, here's a set of oil pastels. This one was a pricier um, purchase for $21.59. I watched some videos on this one. I loved how creamy, because what I like about oil pastels is they're creamy, and you can blend, and you can do all kinds of things. But the problem was, and I don't know if it was summer when I got it, but the, all the sleeves on it were greasy. Like, I had to take a paper towel and wipe every... They were all sweating, and so they were totally greasy. But now they're not. Uh, they settled, 
and they're very, very creamy. Um, let's see if I can just show you here. Maybe I do it on this here. On a test page. Okay, I'll grab another test page here. Just trying out markers, trying different people's styles, watching videos. But they're very creamy. Super, super creamy. And I I just I love how they and see this this will work with this, but this I think this what I plan to use these on is the chalk more chalky pastels. Cause see how they pull like that with oil pastels. Well, your finger won't do that. And let's I'll show you here. But I love oil pastels. I could sit there and just blend and play with oil pastels. Let's do, I don't know, a couple of greens. Let's see, they blend well together. Like but these, they do much better. Much better job. My favorite blenders are the... Um, silicone ones which I bought I think I got them from Amazon but these do work you can get in and blend so I would buy these again um, just because they're so creamy um, I absolutely would buy these again even though they came I think if I bought them in cooler weather you know when it was cooler I haven't really even got to use that much because I also have a, a set of Mungios and some other sets I have quite a few oil pastels so I haven't used these as much yet. Okay, um, okay, here's one. Here's one here that I would buy again. Marie's gouache is absolutely thick and dreamy. You didn't get I didn't get very big tubes. Uh they sell have a five mil and a twelve mil tubes. This is the five mil for uh seven ninety eight. I have seen this set for four or five dollars. Um after I bought mine. I would recommend this set. Um, I think I would, I, I saw it actually cheaper on Jerry's Artorama. And, the, and I, so look around. One thing you'll find with heavier, heavier items, you may find them cheaper on Amazon or Jerry's Artorama or Blick because of the, the shipping and stuff. They, um, but I've seen the bigger like pencils and things like that, bigger sets, uh, cheaper sometimes on Jerry's Art Aroma or Blue. Okay, this absolutely was an awesome deal. This was $29.69. I got 160 watercolor pencils. And they are lovely. Let me get my case open and I'll show you. Look how beautiful. The tray hinges. And they come with the nice little tabs. I didn't put these in my pencil case that I have. But they're smooth. They're creamy. They dilute well with water they blend like a dream i love these i would absolutely recommend these to anyone and i would buy them again for 20 29.69 there's a lot of art to be made here and what a lovely case i can reuse this case it's not going to be wasted the pencils are all done um i can reuse the case and and, and that that's an amazing deal okay um i bought these looking for just looking for a little brush to do liner more small like liner work with in these smaller little sketchbooks i saw somebody using one similar to this and i thought well, i'm going to try that it was three for a dollar 98 but as of to to this date <laughs> right now i don't really like them i'll be honest with you i don't think i would buy them again right now now later on maybe i don't know how to use them properly <laughs> They're cute, but I'm not really in love with it. I don't know that I would buy them again. Oh, that goes over there. Oopsies, let me put my things I have done out of the way. I hope you're enjoying this. Um, this was, like I said, a year's accumulation of product. Here's another fountain pen I bought. There was two. They work okay, but I did have trouble with them, uh, the nibs on them, uh, on one of them. It was two for a dollar forty-eight, and I got them so I could put these some of these other colors in, so I could have more. But being silly me, I thought you could store them that way, and so the ink leaked out. <laughs> I just don't know how to use them. I think it was user error. Ah, oh, excuse me, I got a right reach here. Okay, four forty-eight. I bought this little eraser. And it works well. I would buy this again. It came with all these different size for, you know, sketches and stuff. 
and sketching, I would buy this again. Um, it does have to have a fully charged battery in it to give you the best erasing stuff. You know, the best erasing line, otherwise it just dies. Like you touch it, it goes zzz, and it's like, first I thought, <laughs> first I thought I got a dud. But the battery goes back here and you put, uh, so I put a good battery in it and it works great. I would buy that again. I bought this single brush for $1.79 to follow some tutorials, and I love it. It's very nice. Um, you'll, you'll, you know, $1.79, I would buy that again. Um, let me find something here that I can, okay. This, these I have not even opened, but I grabbed them. Um, they had great reviews on um, other channels, and they had great reviews on Amazon. So I got extra brushes for myself, 348 and 448, because I just saw a great deal and I'm trying to do art and I'm, I'm a killer on brushes, so I'm like, I grabbed two of those and they had great reviews, so I figured I'd like them. And I actually grabbed one more set, because these were the flat, the flat ones, you know, they uh, in different sizes. The one tutorial I was following had to have a certain size of brush and, and, and it wasn't in, this flat one wasn't in these two. So, if I'm doing a tutorial and I name a certain size of brush, I wanted to have be able to go grab one. Okay, and here's something that I would not buy again, and I actually demanded a refund on. <laughs> I bought this. I'm sure, it was $9.89, like $10, soft pastels. But the problem, and I don't even know if they're for sale anymore on their. Make sure I get it right side up here. They're very creamy, but if I can grab a, my book here, my sad scribbles in it. They're very creamy, they're very weighty, but watch, when you try to layer, you can't. They just don't layer, they, they don't, and when you're on a um, mixed media, they just don't layer, you can't, they just start getting all wonky. So I, I actually didn't like them. I asked for a refund. They Actually, I went to send them back. And they just said keep them. So I'm going to make something out of them. I just haven't figured out what. I thought about maybe doing where they, they do like this. They make the layering, you know. And seeing if I can use them that way. Because I don't want to just throw them away. and be wasteful. But I went to send them back because I didn't like them. And they said, well, just keep it. So I'm like, wow, thanks, Timo. You're awesome. Okay, now, um, this here is a little book that you do watercolor with. I have very mixed feelings about this. The paper isn't really thick enough, so when you do the watercolor, it warps and it dries that way. And then the little paint tabs, even though you get them wet, I'll get them wet and soak them, soak them. There's really not enough paint there to color it like they show here. I don't think I would buy it again. I think if I had kids and they wanted to just goof, I might. Like for a little, just to goof around. But for myself, 314, I think I could find some other things on Timu I'd rather have. So I don't think I would buy that again. Okay. Oh, I put everything on the wrong side, didn't I? So there was five of these in this set. I only have three here because the rest are my pencil case. These are work great. You put your pencil in them, you know, if your colored pencil gets too short, and you can still keep sharpening and coloring it. These are great. I would buy these again. I would definitely buy them again. Uh, these I use when I do art, and it's cold in my room. And guys, they are so soft. I would 100% buy these again. for. I'd pay twice that for these. <laughs> 348 and and they have a bunch of uh, colors in these, so I would definitely buy them again. And then, this is something I haven't used yet. This is a, which we can try now. This is a paint stick. And I guess tempera paint, you know, um, I guess it's not maybe your jalapenos, I guess would be what you would compare them to. I don't have that, so I can't compare them to that. The only thing I can do is take my weird, what did I do with the weird notebook that I'm putting everything in? I could use a better paper, I guess. Hold on one second, let me get something else. Okay, so I got another, see, I'm not great, but I'm not bad. <laughs> this is a very nice um, sketchbook. 
So, still, I want to say still not, I think, or whatever. It's very nice weight. Very, very nice. Let's just test some of these out. Let's see what it's like. The video that I was watching, she takes the tempera paint. And she just does stuff in the background. Let's say I want a tree. I just do... Oh, it's so creamy. So creamy. And then she just smears stuff with her hand. If you wonder who I'm talking about, it's Sandy Hester. <laughs> I try because she makes art look fun. And I want to have fun too. Let's see if I can just smear it or if it would smear with this. No, well, not with this. Definitely doesn't smear. And it doesn't smear that much with my finger, but it is coming off the page. Like, I guess that could be good if I want to lift part of it. So I'm going to see what I can layer over that. I think it is quick drying. So we'll see. And then the other thing I got to go with that was for $17.49. And those were, did I tell you the price on those? These were six, what, six forty-eight for the set of uh, temper paints, and I get what six, six, six colors. The only thing I wish they were more muted. I wish they were like you could get them like earth tone, but they they are for children. And then I bought this set. This was my latest purchase of acrylic markers because Sandy Hester. <laughs> I get it open. Oh my gosh. Uh, she does this layer in the background, and then she comes in with all kinds of other supplies. And I thought, I want to do that. I want to smear paint on like Sandy Hester. I need to grow up and get my own image, don't I? So let's let's see what they are like. Let's grab a brown. And let's just see if I can actually, let's say I want to make a tree here. And she just scribbles so much. Such lovely scribbling. Does it actually... Can I pull it out? No, it's doing the same thing. It's crumbling. I wonder if that's the paper doing that. I have a little bit of a smell. It is acrylic paint. Is that not? Oh, it does snap on. And it comes with a lovely array of colors. Let's just see. Array of colors. Look at me make a mess. A lovely array of colors. know if this would be their version of Posca markers. Like, I don't know. It definitely smells like paint. Like it smells like paint. It's bright. Can I smudge it? But it does kind of want to peel. Let me try um, one other thing here. On this weird brown paper. It doesn't behave the same on this weird brown paper. It's a lot more, um, I don't know if you can see that, but definitely I would think you could almost paint like rocks and stuff with it. That's what it's shown to be able to do. There's no shake thing in it though. It's like oil. I bet that bleeds through. No, it didn't bleed through this paper. I'm going to have fun goofing with that. What a lovely array of colors. I mean, there's a lot to pick from here. Look at all these colors. And you could get this in a smaller set. Like, you can get 12. Love it. I'm going to have a lot of fun with that. Okay. I've got a few more things, and we're almost done, guys. This paint, I actually haven't even tried this yet. I've had this for a while. Um, let me just... Is it doesn't need to open. Let's see if it is uh, comparable to Liquitex. What I think about the consistency of it. Um, but look how small the tubes are. 30 mil. You do have to watch for $1.79. I mean, you can get... Um, I think it's very close to the price of Liquitex, so if it isn't as good, if it, is, if, it, if it doesn't cover as good, I don't know, it's pretty creamy. I got it to blend in with other paints. I'd use that. Well, it doesn't have a strong smell, so I want to try one. But I wish I would have got a color one to see how 
opaque it was, but you can you can see through it. It's creamy. It's a little bit like. Um, let me grab my Liquitex. Hold on. Okay, this is um, color on this is white. It doesn't say like titanium white, but this says white. And you can get these. Surprisingly, I found the cheapest price on Joann's for Liquitex Basics. Um, let's just put a dab here, over here. And let's see how opaque this one is and what it looks like. Which one I would actually prefer. Oh yeah, this is way better. Look at that. Liquitex is definitely a better paint. So that being thin, I think it would work great just to thin out or extend or, or blend out another color. Um, that's probably what I'll use it for. Um, but I, I, I don't think I would buy it again. I'd rather have Liquitex. And actually, if you figure out per uh, milliliter, it's the same price. And I'd way rather have Liquitex. So I vote Liquitex. <laughs> so I would not buy this again. Okay. Settled that one, didn't we? Okay, now I bought... Maybe I should go clean this up. <laughs> what? Wipe it off over here like Sandy Hester. <laughs> okay. So here we have... Uh, I bought 72... I was trying to get a really good quality colored pencil. And the problem is, is... Nothing beats a Prismacolor. <laughs> Nothing beats it. But this is close. And they're gone because it came in a tin like that for $19.68. Because I bought this off of them. And I spent, I got the case super cheap. It, held, it holds 255 uh, slots. It's normally $27 for this case. But it was the only color. I don't know if they had extra or whatever. But I got it for $13.57. Awesome deal, right? And so, um, let me see if I can unzip it here. So I put, I, I broke down and I bought the Prisma Colors. <laughs> I didn't get the giant, giant set. I think I got the, these, like the 72 set. But I'm like, I'm, I'm happy with that. And so what I have in this case, I actually wish though, that I had one zipper instead of just multiple, multiple zippers. So I do like the uh, other, set, this set here. I do like them and I will use them. They're actually quite oily. They're just not quite as good as Prismacolors. It, I mean, I always find myself going to the Prismacolors. So here, is, here they are, um, the one that was in that set. They look like this, and they and the reason I got this one because they have a little bit bigger um, lead in them, and and so, but I do like them, and I just did this recently. I kind of got into the color pencil, so they're not used very much. But my personal colors are the best, but in here also, um, I keep and believe it or not, one of my favorite ones. If I can find it here, I have a couple other sets in here is this is um i got the sergeant art watercolor pencils they're actually not bad and i got amazon's um sergeant art let's see where did i go past the amazon oh crayola actually has a watercolor pencil that's also good i really love the watercolor pencils because you can color it in and you can come back with water and you can blend and you can change i don't know if i have them in this case but i also have amazon's uh, pencils and they're very nice i don't think i have them in this case but anyways, no more pencils for me because I got enough for three people. So I made a vow that I can't buy a lot more till I actually use up what I have. And that's what I'm one of my things this year is okay, now you're loaded, girl. Now you gotta now you gotta make stuff. And I am making stuff, just not as much stuff as I want to be making. Okay, now let's let me pause, scoot this back, and I'll show you my case. Okay, um, I did have one other thing I did buy from Timu, but I do like them. These are watercolor markers. The only thing is, is you, you really can't, even though it says watercolor, it's not like watercolor pencil where you can put it down and then move it around. 
it's just more like a marker marker but they are okay there they have two ends um one end like that and then the other end's got a brush on it so that's nice you know i can choose either one um, especially if you're out and about you've got two ends there to choose from so i did like that now this is full of children's my kids that moved out art supplies because i didn't have fat markers and i was trying to figure out what to how much it would hold this is how much it would hold. So I just stuck, I didn't stick my good stuff in here yet. This is a prototype art bag. Let me back out a little bit so you can see the whole art bag. I think I may sell these in my store, but I want to show you. Okay, so on some of the videos I watch, I've seen some different pencil cases, and I was like, I know how I would make mine. So this is my version of different ones that I have seen. Um, and what it is, if you want to make one exactly like it, the finish width on this one is... Basically, two, uh, 23 and a half. So basically, I cut a two foot piece by, um, let's go here, 19, I think, 19 or 20. And probably, probably it was 20 because I have a seam. So basically, two foot by 20 inches. And um, I did not do the fancy patchwork on this one because this is a prototype. I wanted to see if I liked it first or if, the, if it needed more or whatever. But I like the short pockets because when your pencils get short, you can still find them. And I like that I can chuff a lot in there. And the way that that works is I used a stretch denim. So if you use some kind of stretchy fabric to work as almost like an elastic band. And what I did, let me take these out, is I made, I made this, uh, cut this piece first, you know, and sewed everything onto it. And then put right sides together with my good fabric and sewed the whole circle ending with my place to turn it inside out right here and then I just went and found on my pocket supplies a pocket that had like some uh, a snap on it and it had so I can make here and I can make a pocket here which is I can stick so much in here it's crazy and then this flap here of which I sewed another pocket on, so I've got a pocket here, I've got a pocket here, there's more of those. And then I put a zipper on, I did the front piece first, and then once I had it, I did the same thing like how you fold this inside out, I did the same thing with this. And as a separate piece here, and then I just attached this piece to this one to give me the flap I need to keep everything in there. So what happens is, I want to once you put all your goodies in there and it holds a lot like you could literally you could put big fat Posca markers in it you could um it, if let's say you know for whatever art medium you have this could actually be you know a lot of different supplies could go in here I don't know maybe you could even do crochet needles or something I don't know what you would be into but but I thought this is this is great I can just roll this out it's nice because once you chuff it full of whatever you want, this flap, and this works great. So if you're out somewhere, let's say I'm sitting on the grass, and I, or if I'm sitting, you know, uh, on my golf cart or wherever, I have this nice place here that I can set supplies. It's not going to get dirty or it's not going to get whatever. And that, that works really nice. So let's say I'm getting ready to close it up. You just pull your flap down and then you roll it up. And, and I figured I could get like a hundred pencils and a bunch of other stuff in here. And it goes like this. And, and I don't like my strap here. That was the last minute. Like, what do I do? But that's okay. This is a prototype. And so then, and then it just ties shut. And you can just chuff it in your backpack or whatever. So I love it. Um, this is one of my... I'm going to cut those off. But inspires you to make your own little art project and um, I've made just the plain pencil ones before where you just stick pencils in them and then you roll them up I have some of those that I made but this is the first one that actually has a lot of mixed type media things I can put in here like I stick my watercolors over in some of this I try to take a bunch of different and that's what these markers are for Thanks for watching guys. Um, please like, share, and subscribe and I hope you make a cute pencil case for yourself. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the section down below. And until next time, happy painting.